Hey guys, welcome back to Discovery Center. This is Homemade Science, and today we are going to make a super ball. So you're gonna need some basic things in your kitchen for this. Um, our materials are glue. You can use either clear glue or white glue. Um, so if you've got some Elmer's or some school glue, that's gonna work. If you use clear glue, you're gonna get more of a translucent super ball. If you use white glue, it'll be opaque. You're gonna need some borax. So this is in your uh, laundry detergent section. Uh, and you're also gonna need cornstarch and some warm water, and of course, food coloring, whatever color you prefer. Okay, so uh, also you're gonna need some measuring spoons and you're gonna need some bowls or cups, something to mix all of this stuff together in. All right, so first off, we're gonna put our safety glasses on and then we are going to start by making a borax solution. So I've already got some borax in my beaker here. I'm gonna get some of my materials out of the way. So I'm gonna take this beaker here and we're gonna use that for our borax solution. So what you're gonna want is two tablespoons of warm water. So I've got my tablespoon here. I'm gonna pour my warm water in. One. And two. And oops, I spilled a little bit, but that's okay. Just We'll just wipe that off. Then we're gonna take a half a teaspoon, so two tablespoons of water and a half a teaspoon of borax powder. So this is our borax powder. I'm gonna kind of make sure there's not any chunks in there because we are making a solution. So pour that in there. And the reason why I'm not mixing this in the, uh, in the container that I'm mixing my super ball in is that this solution is enough uh, for you to make about seven or eight of these super balls. You don't need a lot of this solution, but it's easier to make more. Um, and then if you don't use it, you can pour it down the drain. So we're gonna mix this up and dissolve our borax in our warm water. And then we're gonna make our super ball. All right, so our borax is starting to dissolve in our solution. This is why it's good to use warm water. I think my water may have gotten a little cool with it being out in the air conditioning. So we're gonna set that off to the side for a sec. And we're gonna get started on our super ball solution. So first up, we are gonna need a tablespoon of glue. So I'm gonna take my tablespoon and I have already poured out some clear Elmer's glue uh, into the speaker here. So we're gonna pour out a tablespoon of glue. We're gonna do a half of a teaspoon of our borax solution. So I'm gonna take my teaspoon. I'm gonna pour that in there. And then next up, we're gonna get one tablespoon of cornstarch. I've actually already measured that out. That's what's in this beaker here. So I'm gonna dump the whole beaker into my mixing beaker. If you don't get all of it, that's okay. Probably was a little damp in there. Okay, so here's the thing with this. We're actually gonna let it sit for about 10 seconds. So we'll do like a, a NASA countdown. Here we go, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you get to mix. But I almost forgot the most important ingredient, food coloring. So if you want your Super Bowl to have an awesome color, um, add some food coloring. And now we're gonna mix. And now starts the fun part. So you're gonna start to mix this solution up. And you can already see um, that it's kind of sticking together. It's not really, it's not really easy to mix. Oh my goodness. This green is fabulous. It's gonna look like a giant bouncy booger. I love it. No, I didn't sneeze. That's my Super Bowl solution. So you're gonna mix and mix and mix until it starts to get really hard to mix and it's gonna actually start kind of twirling around on itself and sort of turning into a ball in your cup. So once it starts to get pretty sticky like that, you're gonna take it out and now comes the really fun part. You get to knead it with your hands. So we're gonna mix it around. Oh, it's getting really hard to mix. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna to try to scoop some of this off of the edges so I get a nice big super ball out of this. And now you're gonna take it. It's gonna be really sticky and goopy at first. 
So you have to kind of roll it around in your hands. Super fun. And as you roll it around, it's gonna start really, really starting to congeal. So it's gonna go from being really sticky uh, and sticking to your fingers to sticking more on itself and creating that sort of plasticky feel. So you can already see that it's starting to solidify in my hands as I roll it. I should have called this the super booger instead of the super ball. You can even hear it. So it's starting to really turn into a super ball. You guys see that? And once it starts to dry, you can even bounce it. So it's still a little sticky, so I can't throw it on the table yet to bounce it. We're gonna keep going. So we're, start, we're, we're getting there. Now the reason this happens all has to do with an awesome science word that we're gonna talk about today called polymers. School glue is a polymer. Um, it's actually a, called a polyvinyl chloride. So, or actually polyvinyl acetate, sorry. So school glue is, uh, often you hear it that it has PVA in it. That stands for polyvinyl acetate. That's a polymer. Now a polymer is a big molecule that when it has a reaction with certain chemicals, it will link together on itself and create almost like a chain. Um, so when we put that borax solution in with our glue, the polyvinyl acetate in the glue reacted with that borax and it created a polymer. It started sticking to itself. And that's where we get this really cool, crazy, rubbery super ball. And we're gonna do a little test run and we're gonna bounce it. Here we go. There it goes, it bounced. So once it really dries, then you'll be able to see it bounce even better. All right guys, I'm Miss Kate for Discovery Center. Thank you so much for joining us for Homemade Science. Uh, and you got to make a bouncy Super Bowl today. So um, you guys can tag us, you can send us your videos. We wanna see what you're doing at home if you're following along with these uh, experiments. We hope you had fun. We'll see you next time.